brings me to uh, a little something. Uh, Disney was not entirely aware of the value of its physical, you know, artistic assets. Yeah. You know, yeah. okay, I talked to an archivist once who told me that some of the, uh, th there was a director or someone, some, some person who had just propped up on his window some of the, um, some of the Dali concept art <laughs> for what was it, Saludos Amigos or whatever it was, some, mm -hmm. one of those things in the 40s. There was gonna be a, ba it was gonna be a baseball Destino. game. Destino. Was it? He, Dali did, did artwork for Destino. Oh, Destino, okay. There they were, like, just, just, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you, you know, I just got these things out of the archives and thought I'd prop them up against my desk, and this was Dali, Dali concept art for Disney, and and one, one, one Monday he went in there and they were gone. Yeah, walked off. And walked out of the, <laughs> walked out of the building with that guy. May, well, I don't know if they went, went out with that guy or someone else just came in and picked him up and took him home. Uh -huh. I mean, like, mm -hmm. he, he, he came in, but where's my, what? Who knows, whatever. Mm. Yeah, is the way I heard the story, but maybe I heard it differently. Ah. Um, ah. But, but, Disney wasn't so cautious with those things. And I, I, I can't even imagine just leaving a hand-drawn Dali sketch for Disney just mm. lying around. Most of the Bambi backgrounds are gone. And they, they are considered to be, like, practically sacred. Yeah. And most of them are gone. They're in people's houses. When I got there, all that artwork was still on the main lot. Now, I was working on, uh, in a little warehouse that was turned into an a animation studio. But on the main lot, they still had what they called the morgue, and that was where all the artwork went to get shelved. Mm -hmm after a film was done and you could just go over there and rifle through things i mean you could just rifle through you could actually walk out with something if uh, you know the, i mean they did have a guy a mary there blair who was and ivan durrell a dolly well, yeah, yeah i mean but they, they they did have a guy there who was supposed Kai to be Nielsen. watching and he did uh -huh. he did he did a really good job of watching over you uh -huh. but but you could go over there and you know check things out just rifle through and See, I, I, I visited that out. place once and everyone was wearing these white gloves and, and, and just careful, don't, well, don't breathe. Now, yes, that's when it, and that's after they had completely revamped everything and refiled and reorganized and moved it mm -hmm. over to Flower Street and, and it became the Animation Research Library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the olden timey days of whatever Snow White and those things, they would just oh oh the cell okay they would cells done scrape it off with a razor blade, wash off the acetate, yes. and use it for another. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Not only that, but that's when they were using celluloid, which degrades anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean it just like it just crumbles over time. Uh -huh. So yeah. they, you know, that was one of the that was one of the races they were in was to find a way to lift the cell, you know, the, the paint mm -hmm. off of a cell mm -hmm. uh, of, of celluloid mm -hmm. and put it down on um, on acetate. So somebody figured out how to do that. Let's talk about the Little Mermaid. There was some physical assets mm -hmm. left up from that, and, and that was a time maybe when people, I don't know, pe did people during the production of Little Mermaid foresee that this was gonna be a thing? Like, did you guys know that you were working on the film that was going to usher in the second golden age of Disney animation? We knew we were working on a hit. We did not know it was gonna be that big, and we didn't know it would be called the Disney Renaissance, but dailies were so much fun. Oh. We loved the crew screenings. Uh -huh. We knew we were working on a hit. People were singing the songs. Wow, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you knew the songs before everyone else did. That must have been wild. You could have sing the songs and before anyone else ever heard the songs. Yeah. Now, now to, to bring this back to my sinister little story here, um, Disney did not, Disney wasn't, all, it, was, it wasn't down with the whole preservation of physical assets at the time. It still didn't know that these things were going to become, you know, they, you could just find them on Sotheby's amazingly. auctions and whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, amazingly. Yeah, yeah. So they would just, like in the olden days, okay, we're done with this, just throw it away. And 
Okay, there, there was literally Disney art in trash cans. Physical Disney hand-painted mm -hmm. art in, in a trash can. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. the, the international law of trash, which is observed galactically, intergalactically, is that he who disposes of the trash foregoes all claims, all ownership mm -hmm. claims. Yippers. He who fishes it out of the trash now owns it. Mm -hmm. Someone fished some things out of the trash. Yes, I can neither confirm nor deny that I may have gotten my hands on some of that trash. Okay. And I'm only displaying just a few of the other, other collectibles I've got around here, but I, I would never ever display any evidence of that sort of thing. Um, although, okay, yeah. Whatever. Okay, you've advanced in your career to the point that you have made story notes in your time, and uh, mm -hmm. you and I are gonna go see the live-action Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And then we'll talk about it. Okay. I think that one change was made clearly for one reason. Mm-hmm. Yep, we know about that. We know about that. I mean, I have no objection per se to uh, a, a Little Mermaid of African extraction. I, I mean, per se, no. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we we know why that change was made. Uh, it it kind of takes you out of the story because you can just see some people mm -hmm. sitting around in a meeting saying, okay, we've got it. Mean, so, but anyway, we'll, we'll go see uh, the live action movie. I think it comes out on May 23rd. And then we will reconvene to discuss live action versus uh, 2D animation Little Mermaid, 2D hand-drawn animation Little Mermaid. And we'll have some wine too. 